Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. Your genes are part of what makes you the person you are. You are different from everyone alive now and everyone who has ever lived. But your genes also mean that you probably look a bit like other members of your family. For example, have you been told that you have your mother's eyes or your grandmother's nose? Genes influence what we look like on the outside and how we work on the inside. They contain the information our bodies need to make chemicals called proteins. Let's find out more of this in today's lesson. Lesson 6. Getting to know DNA, genes, and chromosomes. Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. There are three facts you should know about DNA. DNA is your body's textbook or blueprint of life and the carrier of all your genetic information. DNA is the textbook or blueprint of life in every single one of your cells that tells you how to be who you are and tells your cells to do the tasks they need to do. DNA is unique to every individual, except for identical twins since they came from the same fertilized egg, which causes them to carry the same DNA. Any differences between identical twins can thus be attributed to environmental factors. DNA is inherited or passed from parent to offspring. You receive one copy of DNA from your mother and one copy from your father in the form of chromosomes. DNA Structure Genes are made of chemical called DNA, which is short for deoxyribonucleic acid. The DNA is a biomolecule that is a long and double helix strands twisted around each other like a spiral staircase. Did you know that DNA was first identified in the late 1860s by Swiss chemist Friedrich Mischer? Furthermore, the British scientist Rosalind Elsie Franklin applied X-ray diffraction methods to study DNA and discovered that DNA molecule existed in a helical or spiral conformation. The work of Rosalind Franklin laid the foundation for James Watson and Francis Crick to suggest in 1953 that the structure of DNA is a double helix polymer, a spiral consisting of two DNA strands wound around each other. There are three types of DNA components. The sides of a DNA molecule are sugar and phosphate molecules. The rungs are pairs of chemicals called nitrogenous bases or bases for short. There are four types of nitrogenous bases. We have adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Always remember that these bases link in a very specific way. Thymine is always paired to adenine, while guanine is always paired to cytosine. This is very important during DNA replication. The DNA molecule has two important properties. It can make copies of itself. If you pull the two strands apart, each can be used to make new DNA molecule. We call this production of identical replicas of DNA from the original DNA molecule replication. The next important property of DNA is that it can carry information. The order of the bases along a strand is a code, a code for making proteins. Genes Genes are segments of DNA which provide the instructions or detail codes for specific traits or qualities that you have or for a specific protein. So for example, one gene will code for the protein insulin, which is important role in helping your body to control the amount of sugar in your blood. Genes are the basic unit of genetics. Human beings have 20,000 to 25,000 genes. These genes account for only about 3% of our DNA. The function of the remaining 97% is still not clear, 
although scientists think it may have something to do with controlling the genes. Did you know? Let's learn the genetic similarity of human with other organisms. Did you know? The genetic similarity between a human and a human is 99.9%. Did you know? That there is 96% genetic similarity between a human and a chimpanzee. The genetic similarity between a human and a cat is 90%. Surprisingly, the genetic similarity between a human and a mouse is 85%. Did you know the genetic similarity between a human and a cow is 80%? The genetic similarity between a human and a fruit fly is 61%. Talking about fruits, the genetic similarity between a human and a banana is 60%. Just like a banana, the genetic similarity between a human and a chicken is 60%. It's amazing how much similarity we have with other organisms through our genes or the arrangement of our DNA. Chromosomes If you took the DNA from all the cells in your body and lined it up, it would form a strand 6,000 million miles long. To store this important material, DNA molecules are tightly packed around proteins called histones to make structures called chromosomes. Did you know that human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes in every cell, which makes 46 chromosomes in total? A photograph of a person's chromosomes arranged according to size is called a karyotype. Since there are 23 pairs of chromosomes for humans, 22 of these pairs are considered autosomes, while the 23rd pair is the sex chromosomes determine whether you're a boy or a girl. What is the central dogma? The central dogma describes the processes turning DNA into protein called transcription and translation that converts a gene on a strand of DNA into a functional protein that is capable of serving a variety of biological functions in the body. You have to keep in mind that these processes occur continuously in the cells of our bodies in order to generate proteins that can do their respective jobs. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamarian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.